What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews and in this review we have a ceiling fan. Now, this ceiling fan is for the ones who do not like hard wiring, you guys. And I'm talking about where you have to actually shut your power off and, you know, make sure there's no voltage coming through so you won't get electrocuted right here you have a ceiling fan that hooks up just like a light bulb i reviewed another fan just like this one a few months back and that fan is amazing and we're going to check out to see if this fan is amazing so let's go ahead and get into it all right go here here we go here oh love instructions Ooh, we get a mount for the remote okay 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 or you can use tape so once again if you do not have screwdrivers you should be safe you guys because they give you double-sided tape that's all that comes in the box i want to say salute to the company that sent this out uh companies send things out to me because they like the way i review things and sometimes uh most of the stuff on my channel is what I personally bought. That's how this channel got built. People like the way I do my review style. They like the quality and basically they send this out. When they email me, I reply back. I give back honest reviews. My channel is backed by 100% integrity, which means I don't edit the faults of your product. I have to be honest for people out there, you know, because people are spending their hard or earned money on these products. And basically they don't spend their money to throw their money in the trash. So that's how I go by my policy here. With that being said, this thing has three speed LED light. It does have a timer on it. The timer is from 30 to 60 minutes and the remote actually look kind of cool. One thing I like about this is they put their logo and their company name on it. I love it. I can't tell you how much stuff we reviewed and there's no company name. It's like, I don't know who I'm shouting out, but shout out to the company. No extension on here. Okay, so this moves freely. There's no screws, but this is, this is tight, you guys. So it's not loose. You will actually have to shake this really hard for you to rock it back and forth. This is the height that you get. Uh, it looks about six inches. Oh, Chinese is first and then English. Wow. Okay. I have never seen instructions where it's Chinese first and then English last. That might be telling you something. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm just kidding. Don't get too serious about it. This is simple and basic, you guys. Twist your light bulb off and then twist this one on as a light bulb. This thing has 10 levels of color temperature and 10 levels of brightness. We will definitely check that out. This thing produce 1500 lumens. That is pretty powerful. As far as color temperature goes, you have your 2700K, your 4000K, 6500K. So I'll see y'all. I'm going to put this upstairs in my kitchen where the island is. All right, everyone. So I did put the fan up. It's up there, but it's not really the most attractive look. <laughs> so basically in my head it was different than what I actually did up there. So as you can see, there is a gap <laughs> inside my recess. So I will have to figure out something or another way to do that up there. That's my first issue I'm having. Okay. Now the light actually works. The light is fine, but the only problem I have is, this is connected to my smart switch. So when you have something connected to your smart switch, when you turn your smart switch on or when you turn your smart switch off, the fan is off. You cannot turn it off and on. So I literally have to come over here, turn the switch on or I could have asked, you know, who to do it. And there you go. And the light is pretty decent, you guys. All right. Unfortunately, let me see. If I hit the dim, see when I dim it all the way down, it took off my light right there. So I cannot do nothing with that. So I actually have to move the light. 
and I put the brightness all the way up. So with that being said, I will move the light. I wanted it in the kitchen to have it right here so fan could come down in the middle of the island, but yo, blah, 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 blah. All right, you guys, so I changed the location for now, but I will figure out how to get this in the kitchen. I will figure it out. All right, so I may need to get one of these type of uh, covers up there, the one that you can actually, you know, put the bulb fan on. So, you know, the old school style like that. Let's go ahead and get into it. You do have your power on and off. So I'm gonna turn the power on. So I turned the fan on, power on, fan on, okay? Over here, you have your negative and positive as far as temperature goes. So let's go ahead and check that out. You see that change? All right, so I'm all the way negative. Going to the positive. So basically, however you like your color temperature, your choice. All right, you guys, and the button in the middle is basically lighting mode. So we're gonna tap that. So you can just tap the one in the middle and it put it on, it goes straight to like daylight, uh, bright white or soft white. This is like a dim daylight. So it has like different modes you can go in. All right, you guys, and our little moon right here is for dim. So we're dimming it now. That's what happened when you put your finger on the moon, all right? When you put your finger on the sun, it gets brighter. Right here on the bottom, you have a timer for your fan and you have a timer for your light. So it's actually a half an hour timer. If you hit it once, if it blinks once, your half an hour timer is set. You hit it again, blink twice, that means you canceled it. That goes with the light and that goes with the fan. Last but not least, you have your bottom part right here. Now this is optional. That's what it says in the pack. This is not equipped with the sensor. So that's why they said optional. So you will have to get the model that's equipped with the sensor, okay? And that's about it, you guys. That's that's all with the functions and for you to actually feel this fan, right now it's on low and I can feel it, but I'm going to turn the fan speed up, which is right here. I got it on the highest it can go and I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but it feels so good, you guys. Oh man, I wish I could have put this in the kitchen. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to, you guys. We're, we're gonna come up with something. I want something uh, above the island, but I don't want to install a ceiling fan, you guys. I, I just want to like, you know, put in place, that's it. So we will figure something out. But other than that, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns about this ceiling fan light, please put it in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.